I had my facial surgery in 2021. Uh, cause I started my transition in 2017. I had my my butt done in 2020, my face done in 2021, and my tits done in 2022. So I waited like three full years to get a major surgery. Yeah. Um, and how did all those surgeries go? I mean, I've so I've had Lucy Hart on, and she's yeah. like described in detail about yeah. like everything that she's been through. And I know it's a lot. Were Have all of them been pretty easy, or did you have any bad experiences? So, uh, well – I got silicone injections. I would never recommend them uh, for because like I lost all the weight and I should have got a BBL when I had the weight. Mm-hmm. But especially like I feel like gaining weight and working and just like your brain, just like body dysmorphia out the ass. Yeah. <laughs> so I got silicone uh, and I take really good care of it. I massage it. It's like it's a lifetime investment. So if mm-hmm. you just get it, you have to take care of it. Mm-hmm. Um, so my face, I had it done in 2021. And uh, two weeks afterwards, I was like getting like swelling, and I was like thought I was like eating too much salt, mm. and um, it turned out that bacteria got in like where they um, cut here, mm-hmm. and within two days, my face got so big, and I was trying to sleep, and I had like a hoodie on, I had sweats on, I had a blanket, and I was shivering cold. And I was like, everything started getting like slurry and like blurry. So I drove to the hospital. Literally, you drove not, yourself. I drove myself because I was like, I'm not paying an ambulance bill. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. And I go there, and I'm like, I like at that point, my mask at the time won't fit over my face because it's mm-hmm. so swollen. I had sepsis. Oh my so God. literally, if I the doctor was like, if you went to if you slept, you probably wouldn't have woken up. Wow. And I'm happy that I was like, oh, this is fucking bad. And so I had to do, an, I had to have an emergency flight to San Francisco back to my doctor because at first that doctor in Vegas is going to cut open my face from the outside. And I was like, no. Yeah. So I flew back and oh my God, it was like a horrible experience. It was during COVID in San Francisco. So I'm going in and I'm like, hey, I'm going to meet my doctor here. And they're like, oh, you need to get COVID tested. And I'm like, did you see my face? <laughs> so I had to go outside because at that point I saw antibiotics they were giving me. Yeah. And then like the it was so gross because like the antibiotics was kind of killing it and it started gushing out of my mouth. <gasps> so it was just like thick, like pus chunky juice. And it was, ugh, it was Coming so out of your mouth? Yeah, because like when they redid my jaw, there was like two parts where like um like blood what were they called like the drains oh yeah yeah and so it was coming out where the drains used to be and it was just like it was just i keep spitting it out it was so oh, gross my God. Yeah. and then uh, at that point uh, i had my surgery no food and water for four days i just had an iv drip and antibiotics and honestly this cured my lactose intolerance <laughs> so i used to be lactose intolerant like literally i couldn't even pizza and at that point i think that since it just killed every my whole entire floor, everything in my stomach. Like now I can drink milk, eat milk, like cheese. It like literally cured my lactose intolerance. That's crazy. Yeah. Well, silver lining, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. That is, that is really terrifying. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.